So, uh, just full transparency, Rube is not sponsoring this video, but if they would like to be a sponsor of the channel at this point, I would be very happy uh, to accept it because they make a really good, I would say, content creation accessories and products that people can use for their camera gear or just their setups in general. And I reached back out to them to work with them again to bring you guys a review of their magic arm. And this thing is, I would say, like magic because it does work in a variety of different ways and use case scenarios today we're going to be primarily looking at it from a use case scenario of using a cob light or traditional just light that you would put on a light stand as well as putting a soft box on it seeing how it works i am going to look at some pixel tubes that i just recently picked up that i'm going to do a review on in the future so subscribe to the channel for that if you are interested in those lights but i will be taking a look at a newer white a light wand that i did a review on not too long ago and putting it on top and testing that and I'm just going to give my overall thoughts of using this thing and trying to figure out different applications wherever for this. And what I really typically wanted to do was see if I can put, you know, something that was not overweight and not suggested to be put on it, but something that was like in between something that people would probably use this for, for if they were going to put a light on it or something like that because i am a big component of these uh, i would say cheaper options out there these desk clamp uh light stands or wherever that you can find like a pack of two for like 40 bucks or something like that um and i've been telling people you know about them for a while now over a year i have like four of them already and i just find them very useful to clamp to desk and then put a light on it and even sometimes a softbox the softbox i'm currently using right now which is like the selens i think 26 inch if i remember off the top of my head and that's the softbox that I tried to put on the newer CB100C. I did a video review on that. I'll have that linked in the description as well. But that combo seemed to be pretty good, I would say, in the use case scenario of me trying and attaching it to my streaming desk. So speaking of the cheaper options out there, like I said, you can get a pack of two of these light stands that could clamp to your desk for about 40, 50 bucks on Amazon. Um, you can find them readily available. Just type up a light stand desk clamp and you can find them. But with those cheaper options, options you can see that it just goes straight up and down it doesn't have any way to push the light further back or wherever so if you're attaching this to the side of your desk the back of your desk or something like that and your light sources wherever is closer to you because you have the softbox attached and you have the cob light attached you can see that that might be a little bit intrusive get a little bit too close to you might start clipping into your actual camera frame whatever it may be with something like this because it can lean back and it's a magic arm and you can set the light a little bit back and you can set the softbox a little bit back but you can still get the light in the way you want you can start to see the applications potentially with this and i think it's miles and leagues ahead of those traditional cheap little amazon like i said desk clamps or whatever for your light source but the also the alternatives of using this thing you can use it for an overhead microphone boom arm or maybe an overhead camera angle and i do want to go ahead and address the overhead camera angle that i use right now is an overhead rig from newer it's around like 100 bucks or something i'm probably going to do a review on it in the future i'm just waiting to possibly get some more attachments where for it but I've been using the Sony ZV-1 for a while now for my overhead camera angle, and it's been perfectly fine for the top down. But now recently in this video and the previous video, when I record all the footage and whatever into the capture card, the capture card, for some reason, I don't know if it's the HDMI cable. I don't know if it's the Sony ZV-1 or it's like something else or whatever, the HDMI cable or something. I'm going to switch out the components and try to rectify this issue. Uh, and hopefully in the future videos, when I start doing these unboxings and product reviews and stuff like that, we can get the footage to look way better. So I do want to go ahead and address that. I know it looks kind of bad. There's nothing I can really do because I'm not seeing this while I'm recording and while I'm watching the preview and all that stuff. Everything looks fine. But then when I go to play back the video everything looks really really bad so i do apologize for that now let's go ahead and talk about some negatives or whatever with this magic arm the robustness of the actual magic arm itself is far behind the components that you get for the magic arm as far as like the actual ball head feels premium feels really good the actual little clamp mechanism wherever for microphones attaching it wherever little thread mounts and stuff all this stuff looks feels good looks good even the base clamp or wherever feels metal looks good robust and then when you get to the actual arm itself it's like plasticky and i think the reason why they did that is because if you're clamping this to your desk or something like that and you're letting that back sag or or hang over you know the edge or wherever you don't want it to be too 
weight heavy, especially if you're going to attach a light and a softbox like I did in my testing. Um, I think it's going to solve or alleviate, like I said, the weight problem on your desk because a lot of people who get stuff like this, they're going to have maybe one of those cheap Amazon desks for around a hundred bucks, or maybe they went to Ikea and got one of those, you know, counter, not countertops, but actually like tabletops. And usually typically those things are really, really shabby as far as the material they're made out of like particle board or cardboard or whatever you want to talk about, like not being real wood and stuff and like the thickness and the durability of those tabletops. And that's why I feel like that component is a little bit cheaper made as far as like filling goes. So keep that in mind. You're probably not going to want to attach something as heavy as I did. And it's not really that heavy on the arm or wherever it held it perfectly fine. But that's because it's attached to my streaming desk, which is a Husky workbench. And that's a thick wood, real wood, like actual like actually workbench that I use for uh, like content creation as well as my YouTube studio desk is one of those as well. So feature editing a squid here. I want to go ahead and say I'm not going to get into too many details on why I cable manage stuff or whatever. I'll save that for a future video that I'm planning on doing that because I recorded a lot of stuff for it. But I went ahead and attached the Rube magic arm to my YouTube studio desk and I went ahead and put the newer CB100C as well as the cell and softbox that I use in that demo part. Um, and it's been holding up fine for about five hours now and yeah no complaints no problems no issues or anything like that didn't have to retighten anything didn't notice it wobbling or falling or losing its, its, its grip or tightness or anything like that it's been working perfectly fine um and again for about five hours going ahead and and experiencing it wherever uh so yeah no complaints for me this is uh, actually really really good and it's putting the light in the way i wanted it to because i use a newer overhead rig that they just recently came out with and the problem with it is that the struts at the top that you're supposed to attach the lights to it's mostly meant for those panel lights like from elgato or even from newer themselves and the problem with that is that for these types of videos i prefer soft boxes especially if i'm doing top downs um just because the light is just because of what a soft box does pretty much um and what i notice is that if you have a certain soft box and you have a certain size of light then you can't really angle it too well or to a position that you would prefer it to be just because of the crossbar up the top or wherever will kind of block that at a certain angle and i've been wanting to figure out how to solve that problem and issue but the thing about it is anything that would clamp to the newer overhead rig once i put the light on and i try to put the softbox on it exceeds the weight capacity and so it would have never worked out and I've been bumping my head against the wall trying to figure out how I was going to get around it. And I saw this thing from Rube. I reached out to them. They were willing to send it out for a review. And I'm happy that I did because this thing is phenomenal. And I'm thinking about asking them if I can get another one or I can, you know, buy one on my, with my own money because I want one for an overhead microphone. Uh, when I want to do some, uh, I would say overhead microphone, shotgun microphones, whatever, testing or wherever in the future and not have to do something like this because I don't like microphones in the shot, but this is just a better way of doing it because it makes, uh, I would say, EQing and audio and stuff a lot easier. But overall, like I said, I love this thing it's phenomenal for what it is and what it does so at the end of the day i do recommend this product i do think that it's your use case scenario you know it the best and it's your hard-earned money so spend it wisely do a lot more research and stuff like that but for me if i would have bought this and using it in the position that i'm using it in what i'm using it for i would be extremely happy to the point to where i want to buy another one to a put it in a potentially in another spot or wherever and use it there because again the versatility of it and it just finding it so useful and doing what it's set out to do and accomplishing it without any problems or issues it's pretty straightforward to put it together pretty straightforward to use it that's what I like to see when it comes to content creation products and stuff that we need to use as content creators that are supposed to be tools that helps us you know smooth our workflow and stuff this does that as well as the Rube backdrop. I use it all the time, like I said. And again, Rube, thank you so much for sending this out wherever and letting me experience this, which is another really, really good gear from you or wherever that's 
perfect for me. But at the end of the day, you know your use case scenario better than anybody, especially me. I can't tell you what to do with your hard earned money. It's up to you if you find value in something that's this versatile. In my personal opinion, if I'm gonna give you a tip, what I would use this for is like I'm using it right now with a cob light and a traditional softbox or a lantern softbox, whatever it may be. Have it angled off to the side like I do or wherever and use it and then potentially get the newer overhead rig. I will leave it linked in the description and you can attach with the super clamp or wherever your top down camera like i have it and you can attach your you know your microphone or wherever like i have this microphone attached to the overhead rig as well as a miniature i would say cob light and a miniature softbox wherever to add a little bit of uh, i would say a fill and a little bit more of a fill on the top down angle wherever to be able to you know get the light i would say spread just evenly the way i like it that's what i would use this for because like i said the overhead rig is mostly for those panel lights it's not really i would say great to use with a light like this but it's still a phenomenal piece of content creation gear that you can use to get the job done it's just that like i said this pulls it off a little bit better in my personal opinion for different angles but like i said you would possibly need to get like three of them because you will need one for an overhead you know rig as well as an overhead microphone or just bringing a microphone in a shot like this and for that amount of money you could probably just get the overhead rig and just get one of these from rube and you'll be perfectly i would say set to go with your content creation so that's just a little bit of tips that i would say as far as if you were going to pick this up and what you would use it for that's just my suggestion again it boils down to what would you use this for can you benefit from the versatility of it and are you willing to spend your hard-earned money on it with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and pass it back to pasquit another thing is that when you're adjusting and articulating there's two things about that that i want to make you guys aware of one is that you could potentially pinch yourself or wherever if you're not watching where your fingers are or your hand placements are on the, uh, the the ratcheting mechanics or whatever to tilt and uh, move around the actual top of the magic arm. I just wanna make you guys aware of it. I think it's pretty obvious, but you're gonna wanna watch where you place your plate, uh, fingers or wherever. I don't think Ruby could do anything about that. It's just, you're gonna have to be mindful of what you're doing as far as when you're moving stuff up and down, like I said, and screwing stuff back in, I think you can pinch yourself. Um, another thing is, is that the little tube that your mechanism wherever that you twist to lift the arm up and down or wherever and be able to rotate the arm and everything that little thing if you untwist it too much the little tube thing will fall down and then you're gonna have to push it back up or wherever and, and twist it or wherever to be able to retighten the the arm mechanism wherever so it doesn't rotate and doesn't go up and down or wherever by itself the problem with that is that you're gonna have to loosen it up so much that you think that you're gonna let it fall down or wherever because there's so much resistance no matter how much you unscrew it or whatever to loosen it up to where you don't you're not you're encountering resistance you know what i'm saying you're not smoothly rotating it as much as you want so that's something that you want to be aware of but i feel like that is somewhat nitpicking and i will be open and admitting that other than that i don't really see any other downsides with this thing like i said being able to hold up a 26 inch softbox with the newer 100 uh, cb 100 c on it I think that's the limit, you know what I'm saying, before you actually get into, okay, you're putting too much. I did try to put the newer 200C or CB200C or whatever. That thing is a beast. It's all metal. You're not going to want to put anything like that. I didn't feel secure enough to even get footage of me trying it because as soon as I put it on, I was like, nope, I'm not even going to try it. Um, at this, so I would just be very mindful of what you're putting on it. Follow the instructions. Don't try to overdo anything like that. It's still coming in around, like I said, 80 bucks. So it's not the most industrial thing out there, but it's going to get the job done and it's not going to really have too many cons or whatever, because the multiple, multiple ways you can use this thing, the versatility of it is absolutely insane to me, especially coming in, like I said, around 80 bucks the multiple different applications, like I said, as well as Rube making another thing that content creators can effectively use 
in a myriad of ways, like their backdrop. I've been using that backdrop or whatever ever since they sent it out to me for product B-roll, for, for photography, whatever, for the product shots or whatever that I've been doing for thumbnails for the YouTube channel and everything. And I'm just glad that they're willing to work with me again to, you know, bring this video to you guys about this magic arm. And hopefully in the future, I can check out some of more of their products. And if you want to see that happen and you're new to the channel, you know what you can do. You can hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you found this video informative or helpful, let me know in the comments down below what you would use this product for and um, if you want to see any more products from me in the future there should be a product view playlist popping up on your screen right about now if you want to check out that ruby backdrop video that i did that should be popping on your screen as well thank you ruby for sending this out y'all take care have a squid day god bless you and yours and deuces everybody much love